What's up guys? Welcome back for another one. Today we're going to be installing the Trask Performance Checkmate Vented Transmission Cover on my 21 Road King Special. Now if you're new to the channel, welcome. Let me give you some background on my motorcycle. It is a Stage 2 running a TTS tuner, an SNS 475 cam, and the Fuel Model Jackpot RTX Riot 2-in-1 exhaust system. And I love the setup. No complaints about power or anything like that. But I have been experiencing the blow-by. And what that is, it's a mixture of hot air and hot oil that gets pushed out from excess crankcase pressure. And for me, it goes on the inside of my right pant leg and on the exhaust header pipe coming off the rear cylinder. And I'll show you guys what I mean in a second. So we're going to be installing this to replace the plastic OEM cover that Harley puts on their system. Now, not only is it a beautiful a beautiful piece of billet aluminum but it has a couple of special features here so it does have this one-way valve here to relieve the pressure um, it also has three sections here and each section is for a different part of that whole system you have the the shift gear assembly you have the transmission uh, case itself and you have the part here that goes right down to the oil pan so the idea is simple, you swap out the cover with the six bolts, you attach this hose, and you run this line somewhere. But if only things were that simple, right? So yes, only six bolts, but as you'll see in a second here, half of those bolts are too close to the rear cylinder. So if you don't have a low profile ratcheting hex, and this is not it, I don't have one either, so I'm going to be doing this. The harder way still doable but a little more time consuming you're gonna need one of these and the bolts are 3 16 put a little bit of blue Loctite on them and just take your time don't rush don't get frustrated and just torque them down all evenly so let's get over to the bike I'll show you guys what I mean about my particular blow-by issue and we'll start um, doing the install to show you guys on the pipes here I don't know if you guys can see that with the light but um, it's a little more prevalent in the daytime you can tell this all looks like it was splashed across leaving a little glaze there um, so that was the first sign that I figured was blow by and then this was the second that's kind of hard to see but this here this was not like that at all um, I thought it was dirt from riding in the rain or just uh, maybe just some oil from the road but it's only on the inside of my right pant legs and this is not the only pair of jeans that happens to look like this now so again it's probably well past time and if you look in here maybe hard to see um, that's the cover right there I've already got the bolts removed in fact I'll pull it out real quick and let you guys see the difference between the OEM and the billet aluminum trask checkmate all right so here you can see the plastic OEM cover versus the Trask checkmate billet aluminum cover here's your 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 one-way valve here that relieves the crankcase pressure and basically all you do is you have to remove this existing gasket to get this little rubber hose out and just so you know you got to push it in you got to push this in to get it out so don't try to yank it out and then you're just going to put that on this so you're going to take the gasket off this one as well and move this over so i'll do that real quick
So it is kind of dark in there, but basically the, the cover just goes right on there and you're just going to tighten these bolts down evenly, probably using a crossing pattern and get them as low as you can before you start tarking them down. So I'm going to put the camera down, I'll put the cover on real quick and we'll go over the next part. you guys can see that in there but I do have it installed um, like I said it's it, a pain in the neck to get to those bolts closer to the, to the rear cylinder right there but take your time you'll get it um, torque specs are 132 to 156 inch pounds um, the rear ones you're not going to have a problem getting your torque wrench on but if you're going to try to torque the front like I said go find yourself some low profile um, um, hex ratchet um, pieces that's probably your best bet so now it's just run the hose and that's about it so all right so you can see in there there's the vented transmission cover you see I've attached a hose already I also put a little zip tie just for good measure and let me show you the way I why I routed this hose here so if you follow the hose and it's basically, there's a little hole right behind where your heat deflectors would be, for those of you who don't have heat deflectors. It's right there, and that just comes right through this side. I know it's kind of hard to see. Uh, and then you just do the same thing. You attach the filter to the opposite end. Again, I put a little zip tie on here. And then you would just coil this up in here as neatly as you can. And... Um, if you watch enough videos on this install, you'll see this is probably the most popular place you'll see people put them. I know people who've put them under the throttle body, running it up over the cylinder heads. I've seen people put it low, you know, feed it downwards. Um, myself, personally, I'm a fan of feeding it upwards, whether it's here or under the gas tank. Um, and I'll tell you why. With the filter, above the cover itself the filter becomes the highest point in the system so the bottom being the oil tank itself so the odds of the oil and the and the blow by traveling fighting gravity traveling all up that hose and all the way to the top where the where the filter is uh, is greatly reduced as opposed to having it lower or you know even this is this is why one of the reasons why I picked um, the transmission cover versus the uh, vented uh, dips, dipstick as well um, for that very same reason the, the oil is right there so the odds of the oil coming up in my opinion again it's not science um, just seemed like it was greater so this is just a put it in and forget about it route your little filter there and you should be good to go um, not too bad an install, just takes a little patience. Um, I, I think anybody can do this here as long as you got an Allen key and, um, and, and just take your time, really. So uh, it, the only other thing that uh, I have to say about this system here is Trask has a bulletin that they include in the box and they include on the product pages for their, their website and the distributors. If you're running a 2019 or earlier m8 
Um, apparently there is a seal in the oil plate that's missing, that something that Harley didn't start doing until 2019. So if you're running a 2019, check with the dealer, see if you have that upgraded piece. Um, if you're still, if you still have the stock, uh, oil pump and plate and stuff like that, if you've done the, the, a cam upgrade and you swapped out your oil pump and stuff like that, you're probably good to go. But just keep that in mind for 20, got the, you guys who have 2019 models and everybody else who's running something uh, before 2019, check with your dealer and get that situated first. Um, but uh, I can post the, um, the, uh, uh, the link to the article itself so you guys can read it yourself. So that's about it for today, guys. Um, I, I'm super stoked. I got a couple of boxes right outside of the garage and I'm literally going to stop this video and start working on the next thing. So I appreciate you guys stopping by. I appreciate you guys taking time out to watch my videos. Do me, do me a favor, hit the like and subscribe. It helps us out so we can just keep building these two monsters here. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Stay safe out there.